So, okay, yeah, it's the only two monsters are up, so I should go this way. Oh, wait a minute. Why do I even bother doing... Oh, I'm so dumb. Just remember, like, playing this in the past, I would always run all the way back. And you can just literally just do that. And you're... F oh, oh, my goodness. That saves so much time. Oops. And health. Because I usually end up getting my ass hurt there. Oh, man, that was awesome. Yeah, I just said awesome possum. Oh, come on. Come on. Come. Oh. Uh, uh. There we go. <laughs> That's a little bit scary. I'm just gonna murder you right away. Give me a key. Thank you. Alright, boss time. Spikes. Uh, uh, uh. I normally fight him strictly with a fire rod, but I wanted to try fighting with just my sword that time. And it actually kind of worked out in my favor. Cool. Second dungeon done, technically the third one. Oh, yeah. The hammer really makes you can do things way out of order. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. He alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule, who protected the royalty of Hylia, can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? I sure do. May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. It's open, eh? Hey. Okay. Good stuff. No way. All right. So next up is going to be Quake. I'm quickly go Quake. Um, and oh, I didn't need to go up here. What am I doing? Uh, quick, and we'll f kill the dungeon one boss because you know he's on the way to getting quick. That's such a cool trick, I love it. That little bird there usually always hits me, but uh, last time I played through this, I learned that you can just charge right by and he won't actually leave his perch, which is really nice. I just need to keep my health up a bit. I've probably done so many things that I don't need to do. 
people who actually speedrun this are just like, this guy, what a noob. What a newbie. Now, I wonder if I can hit that from all the way over here. I guess be like, eh. No, okay. Well, it doesn't matter because I have to be down there anyways, so. Bye bye. Walls take quite a while. That's okay though. This is why that key is important. Peasy. Gotcha. The sword makes it so much easier to kill this guy. It's so funny how much quicker he dies. Bam! One more dungeon. Off the checklist. And that one. Four more. Yeah. Four plus three, seven. Dur. And then gain his tower and then Ganon himself. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be a golden land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it, the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He's trying to open a larger gate between worlds near the castle using our powers. But the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? Yes. By the way, the hero lead you to the trap for us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next up, Quake. So we need Quake to get into Turtle Rock, which is the last dungeon we're doing. Because I said so. <laughs> no, because we need both the Fire and Ice Rods for it, not on the Ice Rod yet. And it's just convenient to choose the last one because then you're right next to Ganon's tower. This is really, really helpful. I love those edges that you can. Uh, oh, nice! You didn't get it. Come at me. Nice. Save me some heart pieces or health, I should say, or life. And this is life. Should we go this way? 